Good evening, Internet. I am Bigfoot, and welcome to Let's Play a video game with way too much volume. This is another Super Nintendo classic I'm sure most of you have heard of, if not played. Part of a pretty big series Super Castlevania IV by Konami. It's kind of a remake of Castlevania 1, but it's got a lot of extra levels and stuff to make it uh, more fleshed out. So, yeah, it's a great game. Got an intro here. Let's see what this game's all about. Whoa! Oh man, that was scary. Every 100 years, the forces of good mysteriously start to weaken. Thus, the power of Dracula starts to revive itself, because he's the only villain in the world. His power grows stronger and stronger every 100 years. Dracula has revived many times, however, his sinister actions have been consistently thwarted by the Belmont family. Can we speed this up at all? Oh man, look at that fog effect. Mode 7 at its finest. It's been 100 years since the last confrontation between Dracula and the Belmont family. But now the serenity of Transylvania, yeah, they actually put it there, is being threatened by destructive forces. In a dark and dreary night, Dracula rose from his grave to unleash his destructive power over the countryside. Why don't they all just leave Transylvania? I mean, if that's the only place he keeps coming to. Once again, Simon Belmont has called upon his destiny to destroy Dracula. I read that completely wrong. With only his whip and courage, he sets out to restore peace to Transylvania. Okay. We're gonna start. My name is... Simon. Okay, that doesn't seem to have worked at all, but whoosh, here we go. I'm coming for you, Dracula. Here we are. All right. So I should have probably explained before, but Simon's got his whip here. It's the classic Castlevania weapon. Right now, I've got level two. Level one is the leather whip. This is the second whip. And then there's a third one. You pick up those symbol things that were in that candle, and it upgrades. There's a skull back there with bats flying out of it. Simon can moonwalk. It's the most important thing. Alright, sub-weapons. That's the dagger. You throw it, like so. It takes a heart to use a sub-weapon. Well, they cost different amounts. Daggers cost a heart. Big hearts give you more. Those platforms break. And now we're gonna go into Dracula's castle. Whee. This is the best part of the game, as opposed to the old ones, just being able to wave the whip. Also, really broken bounding boxes. I don't know what to call them in 2D game set boxes, I guess. Beefy whip! This is the strongest. Now go down there. There we go. Grab the heart. Nothing in there. This game has sick music. That's one of the best parts about it. And you can do that. Whoa! Stunning 3D effect. Oh, that one's on the other side. So hit the skeleton. Come up here for these. Why not? Now, nah, let's. Actually, I do have to go this way, huh? 
Hey, oh. ah, oh, I missed. I don't know what I hit there, but it worked. Come at that, grab the money. Money doesn't do anything in this. There's no shop or way to buy anything. You just collect money for points. Simon can also duck walk. This is probably one of the more famous sub weapons. You throw it and it comes back. It's a boomerang cross. Oops. I wasted it. Uh sure, I'll show off the axe. It just arcs up. There's meat in the walls. It's been there for hundreds of years. Better eat it to heal you. It's still tasty and fresh. Oh, I forgot. You can block those shots, but I didn't do that. Okay, now I'm invincible. That's the glowy. I can just walk through all the enemies until there. Now one point I've heard brought up in a few different places is that sub-weapons aren't as useful in this as they are in the older games because your whip is a lot more powerful. And I'd say that's true for the most part, but they can still be really useful in the right situation. You know, Simon can swing on those because he's Indiana Jones. Ooh, health. Okay, so you can pull up and lower with swinging, so you can swing farther, shorter distances. It's pretty neat. Gotta make walk every stair in the game, that's my goal. Oh, come on, skeleton. If you just flail your whip around like that and dangle it on the floor, it doesn't do as much damage. So you want to hit him with the main part of it. Now we're over in Dracula's evil stables. Oh! Thought I could get that guy before he landed. The weapon I just picked up is the Holy Water. It does that, and it can hit enemies multiple times. It's pretty useful. I thought that guy was going to drop there. It can be useful. Horse heads. Some ghost horse heads. Is there meat here? Heart. Okay. That's good. Hearts are kind of like your ammo. So up here on the roof of the stables, there's some ghost horses in the background. The clock is really darn useful. Freezes all the enemies on the screen for a limited amount of time, but it takes the most hearts in the game, I think, out of all the sub weapons. These Medusa heads are pretty famous for being so terribly annoying. They're not that bad this early in the game, though. Oh man, pick up the dagger, I don't want the dagger. Those ghost dinosaur looking guy. There we go. Now those thin platforms there, you can walk across them easily, but if you jump on them or fall on them, they spin around and dump you into the pit, so you die. I'd rather not demonstrate, just in case I mess it up. Alright, here's our first boss. Oh, come on. I stopped his fireball, though. There we go. Whoa! 
first level. As you can see, there's a lot. So now we travel from the courtyard and stables, I guess, to the sewer level. There's always a sewer level. Zombie hands. Ah! Off me. Leaf man guy. Let spiders spit spiders, because that's how they reproduce. The axe will be a lot more useful than the attacker here, because I can hit them. Alright, we got some bike jumps here. Got them once. Hold still. There we go. Those armadillos. Always such a nuisance to Eastern European villages. Loads of haunts. I think there's something good up here. No, food. Okay, that, that would be good, but not now. Simon feels kind of slow. And I think um, Symphony of the Night was really the first Castlevania game to change that. Because you were, well, you were Alucard, but still, you felt a lot faster and more nimble than Simon, who kind of jumps and moves really clunkily. That's part of the challenge, though. Get out of here, zombies. Oh boy. Swamp. Castlevania birds are famous for being awful. That's, uh, floor flagella. I guess. I'm sure these all have official names. I don't know enough Castlevania lore. Hit it right above that, and that doesn't do anything at all. Never mind. I thought you could catch it with the platform. There's frogs here, like that little guy. They're a huge pain. So I'm gonna try to ignore as many of them as I can. There we go. Or at least get rid of them, if nothing else. Ooh, boomerang. Probably the best sub weapon. Because you can do that, and then jump and catch it, and it's awesome. It's stronger than the dagger, too, I do believe. Don't want to pick that up. Hearts, I will take. Oh man, look at that bridge effect. Super Nintendo at its finest. Okay, here we have a sub boss. Not every level has one, as you saw with the first level. The cross is really good here. You can hit Medusa a lot. Keep on trucking. Now we're in the force movement segment. That too. I don't remember what that does. I think it halves the cost of hearts. I want to keep my boomerang. Here's the green goblin, or hobgoblin. Uphill water. I, I don't know. It's pretty neat, I guess. Maybe it's voodoo vampire powers or something. But eh, physics. 
We okay, this makes sense. There we go. Grab some more meat, jump the spike. Maybe it doubles the points you get. I should look that up. Whoa. Maybe I should have picked up the axe. There's a lot of enemies that are coming from above. Especially with the water pushing me around like this. That's no fun. Hope there's some more food on the way. Not that the boss is super hard. At least I don't think it is. It's been a while since I've played this, if you can't tell. But it is a very good game. Running low on hearts here. Oh. Okay. That was the whole stage. How are we doing on time? Uh. Okay. You know what? Let's take a break here. And I will see you next time for more Super Castlevania 4.